NRC event notification report for January 23, 2013, Fermi Nuclear Generating Station, Secondary Containment Pressure Positive for 12 Seconds. Background The Fermi Nuclear Generating Station is a nuclear power plant on Lake Erie, in Michigan. It is approximately halfway between Detroit, Michigan and Toledo, Ohio. Two units have been constructed on this site. The first unit's construction started in 1963, and the second unit reached criticality in 1988. In 1966, Fermi 1, a prototype fast breeder reactor, suffered a partial fuel meltdown. After repairs it was shut down by 1972. Following an extended shutdown that involved fuel replacement, repairs to vessel, and cleanup, Fermi 1 continued to operate intermittently until 1972, but was never again able to reach a fully operational state. It was officially decommissioned in 1975. It is currently in so-called safe storage with a gradual final decommissioning in progress. During safe storage the day-fueled plant is monitored for up to 60 years before complete decontamination and dismantling of the site to a condition where nuclear licensing is no longer required. Fermi 2 is a general electric boiling water reactor owned by DTE Energy and operated by subsidiary Detroit Edison. In 2010 a tornado touched down and damaged the Fermi 2 generator building and forced an automatic shutdown. In December 2011 the nonpartisan organization Public Campaign criticized DTE Energy for spending $4,370,000 on lobbying and not paying any taxes during 2008 to 2010, instead getting $17 million in tax rebates. Despite making a profit of $2,500,000,000, $2 in 2008 Detroit Edison filed an application with the NRC for a combined construction and operating license for a third reactor. The new unit is supposed to be built on the same site slightly to the southwest of Fermi 2. The reactor design selected is the GE-designed Passive Economic Simplified Boiling Water Reactor. The cost was estimated at as much as $10 billion. In March 2009 a coalition of citizen groups asked federal regulators to reject plans for Fermi 3, contending that it would pose a range of threats to public health and the environment. The groups have filed 14 contentions with the NRC claiming that a new plant would pose radioactive, toxic and thermal impacts on Lake Erie's vulnerable western basin. Loss of Secondary Containment Function on January 22, 2013, reactor building HVAC trip due to low outside air temperature and standby gas treatment system was manually started and maintained. Reactor building differential pressure negative. Subsequently, secondary containment pressure went positive during restart of the center reactor building HVAC train. This constituted a loss of secondary containment function. The loss of secondary containment function is reportable as an event or condition that could have prevented the fulfillment of a safety function needed to control the release of radioactive material.